one of Dr. Warner, since I can't give this homeopathic lecture alone, she has to talk about her uh, homeopathic experience. Because we both, we both discovered homeopathy independently. So I think it's kind of interesting. Another eye doctor here. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to explain to you exactly, actually, how it works. Now, has everybody had uh, chemistry, like, um, in school way back when? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, everybody has uh, chemistry you do back know in what school. H2O is. Okay. And have all of you heard of uh, Einstein? Who hasn't heard okay. of Einstein? Now, you know that when light is energy, right? Okay. And he gave us the, the theory that energy equals mass times the speed of light. E equals mc squared. Okay, now, if you take that formula, and we think there's a lot of mass, right? Okay, um, if you collapsed all the mass down into the universe, so there was no space between the mass, do you know how much mass there is in the entire universe? You think you're a lot of mass, right? I'm a lot of mass, right? Building is you just just call a guy fat. <laughs> you got a lot of mass, don't you? You're a fat ass. Can be consolidated down into the size of a bowling ball. That's all there is in the whole world and the universe. So, how much mass are you? Not much. Clearly. That's right, an infinitesimal amount. So, if you take that formula, my brain is already hurting. C squared. You can almost cross out mass. So the formula ends up being energy equals the speed of light, okay? And that's why the vision system is so important because we have lots of photoreceptors that receive light. But when Hahnemann died, he, um, the scientists didn't fall in his camp, okay? And um, the pieces of the puzzle didn't fit well together. So God, in his infinite wisdom, sent him a, a, another Einstein called Stephen Hawking. Okay, Stephen Hawking gave us the string theory. And what he discovered is that there are other energetic particles in the universe, and they're shaped like little Ueys. Little and what they what? do is they work by vibration. So our body is so wonderfully designed. We have light receivers, and we have ears. Oh, we have ears. Cord. No they shit. Take a vibration. Hey, kids, so we have ears. That theory, Einstein's theory of relativity, we have E equals mc squared, that mass is crossed out almost, and strings, vibration. But that still doesn't tell us the whole picture. Because what is a cell? Right? Okay, so a cell has um, cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm. Is that mass? Not very much, really, right? So what are that? What is that? You can break down the cells into tiny pieces of energy called electrons, protons, neutrons, right? Okay, so the whole body Weird has an infinitesimal fuck. amount of mass, but what is the What remainder? road did she just get off on? She Energy. So Where the fuck I is she going with this? Energy, you are energy. Okay, now if you go to study physics, energy cannot be created. We do not know how to create energy, but we don't know how to destroy it either. That is not humanly possible. So what we do is we take energy and we transform it from one state to another. That's all we do. So if that's all we do, guess so what energy the definition is a of disease now. is? It's not mass. Does we have Optimus Prime know our this? energy state into something different. That's what the definition of disease is. Okay? So we should be able to retransform our energy into a previous better state. Right? And what we do is we use light, we can use sound, we can use homeopathy. Okay, so what is homeopathy? Okay, if nothing is really mass or an infinitesimal amount of it, and everything is energy, that means everything has a vibration to it, okay? So what if I could um, encase some sort of energy for later use, okay? So if I wanted to make a bomb, what the and I fuck? Took all these chemicals and I encased it in a uh, encased it in a, a you know a bomb. 
What? What? Okay. Are you sure talking about bombs now? That's his dog poop in my yard. Literally. Okay, and I'm mad at that dog and my neighbor. So I'm going to take this bomb and I'm going to get back at him. So what if I threw what that bomb the fuck, at lady? his house? Would he be happy with what me? What the fuck? Because what happens now when that energy what like a is released? And throw it at your neighbor's house because your dog's shitting it's, your yard. It destroys something, right? Or changes oh it. It makes the, the building oh, now not oh, in structure form. It changes its energetic state. Well, that's what we can do with homeopathy. We take substances, and what we do is we, we pulverize them, and we um, put them in solution, and we succuss it just like the bomb. We threw the bomb to release its energy into this liquid. And then we take these little white pellets, we sprinkle them with that solution, and guess what we have just made? An energetic substance to be used when we choose to use it. So okay? basically you so bomb. So how homeopathy you works anywhere, is whatever your disease process An is, energy it's an bomb energetic at that. change. And if I can find the remedy that matches your state and give it to you when we so choose, what can we do with your energy system? Transform it to a previous better state. And that's how it works. How does what work? Okay. What the um, I have fuck? a couple of stories too. <laughs> so um, every single one of us vibrates with a certain vibration. And so we either vibrate with a plant, a mineral, or an animal. Okay? And the way we talk, the way we interact with people is that's how we are. Okay? So I had a patient that came in and says, I have a squeaky knee like a hinge, it squeaks. And he had some other uh, like um, insulin resistant, kind of going toward diabetes. So doctor, patient, and, um, he said, confidentiality doesn't so mean said, shit to you, know. right? So I, we took his case. Hey and, doc, I got a um, squeaky knee. You know, hey, I, I can tell like everybody about this. That I am a man of my word. You're and that's how I want people to treat me. I want them to be a man of their word. Well, if you research in the homeopathic remedies, there is a, a remedy called Cali Carbonica. And do you know what those people are? I'm a man of my word. So I gave him in 30C, actually, we started with 30C. Uh, phys- you mean 30CC? Um, there's controversy, but I like low remedies and physical symptoms. Or whatever. And then you go up for mental symptoms. And so we gave him a 30C, and uh, four weeks later, he said, I'm fine. He stopped his uh, sugar cravings, his uh, squeaky knee went away, and that's been um, almost a year. You got a squeaky knee and on that sugar one cream. tiny Wait, what little the pellet. Shit? And that's how it's so miraculous. It's so exciting. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Uh, anyone know what the fuck she was talking about? That's it for reaction action. Take it easy, guys. Humanoid freak out. Bye.